AI. I'm going to show you guys how I created a YouTube cover image, a YouTube description, and a YouTube title all using AI because it takes way too much time to try and come up with all that stuff on your own. So once you have these artificial intelligence systems in place, they can assist you in doing all of that and save you like an hour, probably. If I was going to sit there and try and come up with different images, it would have been very difficult. So here's how I did it. I'll take you through exactly what I did. This video should take no more than seven, eight minutes to show you the whole process. Um, and then you guys can use it to help with your own videos. And do let me know in the comments if you use it, any one of these different tools and whether you found it useful. So first up, I wanted to create a description from a podcast that I'm posting. So use a case example here. I've recorded a podcast. It's going to go live today. And I needed to create a description for YouTube without having to type it all out. So the first thing I did was went over to ChatGPT, which I'm sure you know what ChatGPT is already. It's been taking the internet by storm over the last couple of weeks since it was released. And you can see here, these are my previous chats. So I'm just going to open it up and show you exactly what I did. And I told ChatGPT, I'm going to give you three messages. Please wait until I've given you all of them. Now, the reason I did this is because I wanted to give it a full transcript from the podcast so that I could then ask it to create a synopsis or a description based around that. And so if you try and paste everything in one go, it unfortunately doesn't work. It says the message is too long. So here's what I did. Took the transcript from the podcast, pasted it all through here. And if we scroll down, you can see that's section one, section two, and then section three. And then once it was done, I asked, please give a synopsis of all the content above, and it put it together. Please now, from the, the messages I provided, create a YouTube description. So it starts to put one together. It gets a little bit, it kind of gets it, but not really. So then I give more of a structure as to what the podcast is, who was in it, and what it was about. And then we went through, um, here's what the business is actually about, and asked it to generate a description. And here we go. And so this is the description that I'm going to use. I think it's pretty cool based on the um, conversation that we actually had. Scrolling down a bit further, I then ask it to create a clickbait title for this because we need to get clicks. We need people to watch the actual video. So I had some back and forth here, like going through various different titles. I asked to make it more extreme. I asked to shorten it. And eventually I got a title which I was happy with. So here's my back and forth with ChatGPT, asking it to reproduce various different um, titles. It might take you much less time than it did for me. I was just very particular about the title I wanted it to create. And with some back and forth telling ChatGPT exactly what I wanted it to do, we got there in the end with the um, final result. So after I did all that, I went into Midjourney. So let me show you um, exactly what Midjourney is and how you can use it. And this was to create the image, the main thumbnail image that people are going to see to hopefully get them to click. And this is the title that I decided to go with, Skyrocket Your Online Coaching Biz with Joe's Proven Methods. So Midjourney is an AI that allows you to create an image from a text description. So I came in here with my title from um, ChatGPT and I asked Midjourney, please create me a YouTube thumbnail for this description. And then you wait a little while, it processes through. Once you have the output, you can then choose if you want to create more variants of version one, two, three, four. You can upscale them as well. So I popped in my description here and I'll show you how you do that. You type forward slash and then imagine, and then you type in whatever you'd want to do. So um, mine was the you know skyrocket your business along those lines, press enter. And actually first time around, it gave me a pretty good output. So this was the thumbnail that it created looks just like that. And I thought, okay, that looks pretty cool. I'm going to go with that thumbnail image. So the description for YouTube has been created by AI, the title for YouTube created by AI, and now the thumbnail created by YouTube for AI. But obviously I can't use this. I want it to be more focused around Joe. So I need to get rid of this guy and I need to change this for my own title. So how do we do that? Well, we go over to this AI tool, which is called magicstudio.com. And then you simply grab your image and you're going to drop it into the page here. And then what you can do is you just highlight with the brush the areas that you want to remove. So I'm going to highlight this guy here. And then once you, you don't have to be that accurate with it, to be honest, you just sort of click around, highlight the area that you want to be removed, and then you're going to click on erase. It takes a few seconds and it runs through, and then it's going to pull out that entirely. And then I did exactly the same thing with the text up the top here. So I just like covered all of that with the text. Uh, you can see there I missed a little bit. If we do that and erase it, 
And then that gave me this blank canvas where I had the guy removed and I had the text removed at the top. So now I had my image, the framework of my image. I knew what I wanted the text to look like. I simply just chucked that in Canva. And then in Canva, I tried closely to match the fonts and the layout. Um, and then once we produced the image with Joe, it looked like this. So this is the image that I've gone with for the thumbnail. Skyrocket your coaching biz with Joe Ballinger. That's the thumbnail that we're going to put up on the podcast. So all of that done with AI using ChatGPT. I added the transcript from the transcript. I asked ChatGPT to create a synopsis, 750 words for my YouTube description. From that description, I asked it then to create a clickbait title. Using that title, I went to Midjourney, got a thumbnail image created, used AI to remove the bits I didn't want, chucked it in Canva, and then created this. The whole process took me anywhere between five and 10 minutes. Um, whereas if I were trying to do all that on my own, it probably would have taken me an hour to come up with titles, descriptions, and all that stuff. I hope you guys found this useful. Please do drop a little comment below, click that like button. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks everyone.